people who are really good sewers are afraid of knits. And what they're afraid of is the knit stretching and not being able to control it. So right from the get-go, you want to build in some stabilizing. This is the back of my t-shirt. What I've got in my hand is about a one inch strip of a fusible tricot cut in the stable direction. You can use a generic fusible tricot. This one I believe is so sheer, which is a little bit lighter and has a stabilizing thread in the lengthwise direction. I cut lengths of this and I just keep them hanging here by my iron. And so I'm going to press that into place. It's going to be right in the fold of the seam and that will keep that shoulder seam from stretching on you. As the whole garment hangs from the shoulder. Now I'm going to take my shirt to the sewing machine and I will stay stitch the neck um, from the shoulder to the center, shoulder to the center. I do not use a stretch stitch. Um, I don't use a special needle. I usually just sew with a universal point needle, good quality polyester thread, and a normal stitch length. So here I'm going to adjust my stitch length to about two and a half. And I'm going to start my stitching, stitching a half inch from the edge. I'm going to stitch both the front and the back from the shoulder seam to my center marking. And when I get, the, get to the center marking, I'll do a little, little tiny back stitch just so it holds. Clip that thread off. What this does is this will keep your neck from stretching while you work. It also is absolutely essential if you're going to use a turned and stitched um, finish on your neck because this is what will keep that edge from stretching as you stitch it. I'll do the same thing in the back. 